Welcome to the 7 Minute Sting, a series about the Australian Stingrays and the women who will make it great. I'm Mike Neal and I'm glad you're here. Today, uh, I'm joined by a brand new Stingray and a woman who once tried not smiling for a day and decided it wasn't for her, <laughs> Mahalia Rickards Tang. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. Well, that's excellent to have you here, my friend. Excellent. Now, a couple of quick ones. Mainly, have you ever seen the Stingrays play at the World Championships? Um, not in person, but um, I have definitely watched quite a few of the videos, especially <laughs> coming into the tryouts. Um, it was definitely something that I used as a bit of a learning tool um, and something for motivation and my preparation. So, oh, a keen student of the Stingrays, I see. Very yeah. nice. And uh, and have you had friends who've been part of the Stingrays experience? Um, not whilst they were on the Stingrays, just because I am a relatively new player um, mm -hmm. in comparison to some of the other girls. But um, in the last year or so, I've made a lot of friends of people who are previous Stingrays or people who are have been selected again this year. So I'm really excited to play with them mm -hmm. and to play with people who I look up to as well. And are you expecting now that you are a stingray that lots of people will try and be friends with you? Is that what you're telling me? Well, I haven't thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll okay. <see. laughs> um, so I, let, let me ask you, uh, you're obviously a person of uh, great energy and talent. You could be doing anything with your time. Uh, why have you chosen to commit yourself here to this Australian Stingray project? Um, well, I've always been in into sport um I hadn't actually found out about frisbee until I started in uni um so it wasn't even on the horizon at all for me but I think initially I got into it because of the community around frisbee and how mm. nice and welcoming everyone was um at first I picked up the disc and I was like I don't know how to throw at all um, <laughs> but yeah for this particular campaign um I think playing with this group of girls at this particular point, we're all kind of under 24, same age group um, and same around the same stage of life. Uh, I think the connections and the friendships and how much we'll learn is something that I really value and I'm looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're all good reasons. And often the community comes up for people uh, almost either in tandem with the, the magic of the game or just... As, as a precedent, like it, it is wonderful, the people. Yeah, it's, um, I don't think I've ever met anyone that I haven't liked from Frisbee. So that's definitely one of the driving factors, but also of course the game. Um, it's just like something that you get a rush out of every time you play. And I've previously have had like a few little injuries here and there um, and just going and watching on the side and being, so motivated to get back onto the field um i think is something that i haven't felt in other sports that i've played brilliant uh have you ever met anyone you didn't like may though <laughs> uh, i don't know there's some interesting characters around but <laughs> there are some characters you're right let's move on from the characters um okay so for us right now we are just a few short days away from our very first training camp together which is the first time that the whole team is together within like physical proximity. Um, how do you feel about that right now as you sit here? Um, really, really excited. Um, I definitely think that again, forming connections um, with the girls and deepening those already. Um, and also with the coaching staff is something I am very excited about. I heard that it was probably 38 degrees or something like that this weekend. So not as keen for the weather. <laughs> But I think it'll be like a good challenge mentally and physically, something that we can work on in terms of like preparing um, and then checking up on how our bodies are going and like with each other. So I'm trying to think of it positively. Yes, yeah, so that's impressive perspective uh, manipulation there. And maybe a bit of collective suffering will bond us together as an unshakable <laughs> melt us into one single molten unit, 38 yeah. degrees. Saturday only, Sunday looks better. Um, can you do this experiment for me then with your mind? Can you cast it forward, your mind, your consciousness, to Sunday night and you're travelling home at the end of the selection camp? And what do you hope you will have achieved and how do you think you'll feel at the end? Um, okay, 
Okay, I think the main thing is probably the first thing I can think of, probably 100% exhaustion, mm -hmm. but definitely a lot of satisfaction. Um, I think we don't have that many training camps coming up, so it's really important to acknowledge, I guess, the importance that each of them will have on our development um, on and off the field and going in with 100% commitment to the process and being ready to learn and absorb as much as possible. Um, that's kind of how I'm framing it in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, and then my main goal for this first training camp um, is to create that solid foundation for the team. Um, so spending time as friends and training, seeing what people like, what kind of timings we have on field and those mm. connections. Um, that's the main thing I'm looking forward to this campaign. Um, yeah. Well, campaign, but also particularly this camp. <laughs> Brilliant. Can I ask you just expand on that just a, just a fraction? We probably have, uh, I don't know, 45 seconds left here or so. Um, is there a relationship between the way people relate to each other and the way they play, or do you think? Or can you can you leverage one for the other? I think they're quite interconnected. There's definitely, once you reach a certain level, you can kind of play with anyone really well. But yeah. I think one of my best friends is the one that got me into Frisbee and we've played together and we can just read each other so well that the give goes, the give goes. I can tell when she's winding up for a throw, things like that. I think um, are really important. So those connections, again, are something that I am really looking forward to and um, I think that they are probably one of the most vital things um, in being able to meld well as a team. Yeah, brilliant. Well, Maylee, you only go to your first Australian training camp once and for you it's happening in a few days' yeah. time. Uh, I hope it fulfills the dreams and hopes you have and, and I love your vision for the connection and the, the continuity the team will have uh, in the giggles and also on the field. Good luck on the weekend. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on the 7 Minutes Sting, and we'll see you all next time.